All right, Junior and I are out alley picking today. Junior? Hey. Yeah. So far, we found a Sony CRT television. That doesn't seem so exciting, right? But my son likes those things, so he likes to play his games through them. Found a really nice bird bath from my yard, unbroken. That was nice. But here's the killer. Here's what we just found in the box. This one here is a money maker. Maybe you can see it back there. You see that box right there? That is a 1960s Cox airplane. And it's complete. It doesn't even look like it's ever been ran. So, yeah, that's exciting. So, let me show you the alleys that we're doing. All right, so these are our alleys. We just go up and down the alley, and uh, I've never done this. Well, I've done this before, but this is probably 25 years. But uh, this is what we're finding to do there in our... You can only go to the grocery store so many times before you realize, oh, I don't need any more groceries. And then you got to find things to do, and uh, that's what we're doing. I'll tell you what, if we find anything good, uh, we'll be back. There's a little green thing for a toddler. I don't need that. All right. Let's see. Wow. Uh, we have a. Uh, we're at a crossroads here, so I will say I will go this way. There is a suit hanger where you hang your suit up at the end of the day. Um, this is a short alley, so what I'll do is I will go this way. Wow, we're already up around Higgins. Steady cam is on. At least that's what it says it is. Alright. There's an alley. This is going to be a short alley. So, how do we go left here? Got another short alley. Foster Avenue. That's my guess. Yes. Yes, it is. There's another alley. Just It's got its arms wide open welcoming me in. See that? Sorry, my uh, phone thing is not so sturdy holds the phone, it just doesn't uh, stay in the position you want it to stay in. Yeah, so anyway, if I find anything good, you'll see me again. Alright guys, I'm back from my alley picking. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, here's a bird bath I found earlier in the alley to go in my garden. Gonna wash that out, put some nice fresh water in there. And uh, look, I already had plants growing out of the side. See that? So yeah, this is my little garden. A few years back, I had a pool here. It killed all the grass. So last year, I turned it into a garden. And uh, see my lilies are coming up. Anyway, getting back to what I found in the alley. Which is this cox. In its box. The cox in the box. Okay, so you can see Cox Corporation right there. Okay, you see a model number right there. Look inside there. Let's uh, pull this out here. Uh, looks like it might have been sitting in an attic for a long, 
long time. Put this on the table right there. Really nice. And I have a pretty good idea that it has never been ran. There's no goo up there. And, uh, and I'll tell you. Uh, got our manual. Let me just dump this stuff out here. Okay. Put the box to the side. You can see our line has never been opened. Our control line. Rubber bands are a little crappy now, but it's never been opened. And uh, there's the model. A little spider web there. Super Sport Trainer. And here is a little cross cell pamphlet which is really cool to look at so yeah this is definitely from the 70s I would imagine you know Cox Corporation didn't know they even made trains but there you are slot cars rockets picture of the old Cox building in California there and here's our model right here the super sport trainer it says, graduate from beginner to sport pilot with Cox's new F1 Sport Trainer. Ultra modern Formula One design with new high stability wing and wide stance. Landing gear for easy landing. It's a 049 engine with 24 inch uh, wingspan. Catalog number 8600. Uh, so catalog number uh, with starting and flying accessories. Catalog number 8662. So anyway, here's more. These are some smaller ones. 16 inch. Name. Uh, where's this wingspan at? Hey. I'm looking. 20 inch wingspan, 16 inch wingspan. 23 and a half or 17 and a half. And 16 inch wingspan, that was a small one. I know I had a small one as a kid. I'm willing to bet it's probably a 16 inch wingspan because it was smaller. Mm. And here are, these are funny. Mm. These have the, the little engines in them too. And I don't know how you would have controlled those. I guess you just start them and let them go and hope for the best. But maybe they weren't that fast. But here are your different size engines. You had your 15, your 9, and your .49. Yeah, so let's uh, look at our airplane here. I got my coffee there. Yeah. So I'm just going to sell this on eBay. I'm not going to bother trying to fly this. No, because this is a collectible and they sell for really good money on eBay. So I found it in the alley. So it's all oh, made in USA right there. It says Cox made in USA. And uh, you can operate the aileron here. And uh, hold on. Uh, I can't do this with no tripod. I have to take my word for it. Your control line operates your elevators there. And uh, you see it's pretty damn, pretty damn straight. So yeah, that was exciting to find that in the alley. Yeah, I figured I'd share that with you. So yeah, exciting to share that with you. Get out and pick in the alley. I'm out. Thanks for watching my videos.